Welcome back to the Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I am David Kern. Today's poem is by Mary Jo Salter, an American poet born in 1954. She is a co-editor of the Norton Anthology of Poetry and a professor in the Writing Seminars Program at Johns Hopkins University. I know a number of poets and scholars and journal editors and people like that who are big fans of her work. And unfortunately, I am not... I'm not terribly familiar with her work. I know a few poems, um, but I have decided that she's somebody that I want to get to know a little bit better because of how much people that I trust like her. And the poem that I'm going to read today is called Half a Double Sonnet. And it says that it is for Ben. I'm actually getting this out of The Making of a Poem, a Norton Anthology of Poetic Forms, which is edited by Mark Strand and Avon Boland. This is how it goes. Their ordeal over, now the only trouble was conveying somehow to a boy of three that for a week or two he'd be seeing double. Surely he wouldn't recall the surgery years later, but what about the psychic scars? And so when the patch came off, they bought the toy he'd wanted most. He held it high. Two cars, he cried, and drove himself from joy to joy. Two baby sisters. One was enough of Claire, but who could complain, considering that another woman had stepped forward to take care of the girls, which left them all alone with mother. Victory. Even when he went to pee, he was seconded in his virility. (laughs) So, half a double sonnet. Great uh, title for a poem about... um, you know, seeing double. Um, There's just numbers all throughout this poem, uh, which is great for a sonnet, of course. And that makes it kind of a lot of fun to study, a lot of fun to to, to play around with, imitate, things like that. I'm fascinated by the the opening word. I guess the opening phrase, their ordeal over. Because on the surface, like it says for Ben before the poem even begins. So you think it's going to be about specifically Ben. And the poem is about Ben, but it says their ordeal over. And so it makes the subject of the poem not just Ben, but somebody else, more than one person. I take it to mean a caretaker or a parent or someone who is watching out for him. So the ordeal is not just Ben's, but it's all of them. So it's it's sort of, it's almost like a poem about uh, community, perhaps family, but, but the way that um, individual lives are lived in groups. That's revealed right off the bat with that word there, despite that it's a poem about, about the boy. They want to uh, keep him from having psychic scars, so they give him gifts. They give him, they give him toys. He, you know, there's, a, there's a famous line in, in the movie Tombstone where um, Doc Holliday, the famous gunfighter, is you know, maybe even drinking a little bit too much. And he, the bad guy says, ah, you're too drunk to see me anyway. And he says, well, I've got two guns, one for the both of you. And that's that sort of scenario here with the two cars. Drove himself from joy to joy, it says. Um, I love that line. I love the concept of a child who's been through something, being focused on the joy that's in front of him, seeing the joy despite being despite his vision being impaired. I love, I love that image. There's the image of the two babies, which is, which of course, which is, which is great as well. And then of course the, the sort of humorous ending. And so in a sense, the, the trauma, whatever the trauma is, the the surgery, the, the thing he's been through leads to the victory in the end. It's the ordeal that in a sense is turned into joy. And that in itself is a victory. Um, so, you know, a poem about number being used in a form that is so committed to number, um, in the sonnet is is a really nice touch. So it's a great one to study when you're thinking about the nature of sonnets, nice modern sonnet. So once again, here is half a double sonnet for Ben. Their ordeal over, now the only trouble was conveying somehow to a boy of three that for a week or two, he'd be seeing double. Surely he wouldn't recall the surgery years later. But what about the psychic scars? And so when the patch came off, they bought the toy he had wanted most. He held it high. Two cars, he cried, and drove himself from joy to joy. 
two baby sisters. One was enough of Claire, but who could complain, considering that another woman had stepped forward to take care of the girls, which left him all alone with mother. Victory. Even when he went to pee, he was seconded in his virility. This has been The Daily Poem. Thanks so much for listening. Be back tomorrow with another poem for you. Thank you.